Okay, we're down here at the range. We're going to test two different types of uh, reloaded rounds. We've got uh, first two shots are 55 grain full metal jacket traveling about 3,100 feet a second. We're going to take out that Coors light bottle. Second shot, we're going to go for the Sprite container. And uh, expect the bullets to just go straight through the Sprite container. Probably won't even knock it down. And I've got three one gallon water jugs. I'm going to use the Hornady VMAX 53 grain round, uh, 3,200 feet a second. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, we can see that the uh, second round into the Sprite container was actually a VMAX round, and the uh, third round was a VMAX, and it doesn't look like it went through the uh, last milk jug, so we're going to see if we can't dig it out. The GoPro got a little wet. Okay, as luck would have it, down at the range we found ourselves a baby ketchup bottle full of ketchup, so we're going to see what the... Uh, I call it the Varminator, whatever the VMAX round. We're going to see what the uh, Hornady VMAX does to this. Yeah, I like Heinz ketchup, but uh, I also like cool videos. So you can see there's the uh, full metal jacket round, 55 grain. Uh, it's uh, copper over lead. Got that reloaded at about 3,100 feet a second. There's the nasty VMAX round. You can see that. Now, just to show you the destructive force, here is the Sprite container on that second shot after being hit with that uh, Hornady round. And uh, you can see that, that pretty much decimated all. That full metal jacket round went right through. None of the momentum of the bullet was transferred to the, to the bottle. It just it passed straight through. Real sharp pointy object that doesn't mushroom out. Now, just to show you, there's the VMAX round. And there's the fragments we pulled out of milk container number two. So you can see the polymer tip fills that whole hollow point up and uh, allows you that, that high velocity without having the 
bullet totally come apart when you fire it, but when it hits the target, I mean, there's just nothing left. And you can see that that first milk container is definitely see how how much destructive force is delivered to it. And even that second one, you can see where the round went through and it didn't come out the other side at all. So I uh, definitely can understand why that's a chosen round for uh, hunting varmints. I mean, that's going to that's going to really cause a lot of damage uh, upon initial impact. Um, penetrating power, though, I mean, it wouldn't go very far into, I mean, you, you go through about a milk carton's thickness worth of, uh, worth of water and liquid there, so you're not going to get anything uh, deeper into, a, say, a larger animal.